Sometimes finding the perfect trailer is impossible, unless you combine two different types of trailers. In this video, I'll show you how to swap the parts of a DCP grain trailer and DCP belt trailer. First, we begin by removing the tarp hooks with a needle nose plier by twisting and pulling. The tarp peels off easily. Three screws hold the triaxle assembly in place. Lift away and store. The landing gear is held into place with one screw. Three screws hold the king pin assembly in place. Remove those and set aside. The mud flaps and rear cover can be easily removed by prying between the die cast and plastic with a knife. Two screws hold the triaxle housing inside the die cast. Remove those and set aside. The hopper assembly slides out of the die cast frame by pressing from the inside out gently. Be aware, a few tarp bows may fall out in the process. Save all these parts. This concludes how you disassemble a DCP triaxle hopper trailer. To disassemble a DCP triaxle belt trailer, first remove the tarp hooks by pulling and twisting with a needle nose plier. Then, peel off the tarp by gently pulling. Next, Two screws hold the triaxle assembly on the trailer. A single screw holds the landing gear in place. Two screws hold the front of the belt trailer assembly in place. There are also two screws at the back of the trailer that also aid in holding this in place. All four screws must be removed before the belt trailer assembly can be removed from the frame. To remove the rear chute, place a knife between the two pieces of die cast and pry gently. There are two screws at the rear of the trailer hidden by the chute. Once the chute is removed, Remove the two screws that hold the rear of the belt trailer assembly in place. Remove the belt assembly and set aside. The plastic internal parts of the trailer slide out easily in one piece. Finally, a hinge door remains at the end of the trailer. This can be removed by taking a knife and placing it between the two pieces of die cast and twisting gently. To reassemble a grain trailer into a different trailer body, collect the four hopper pieces and reassemble. If any, if any tarp bows are loose, glue them in place with a little bit of super glue and then slide the internal hop. If any tarp bows are loose, glue them in place with a little. If any of the tarp bows are loose, fix them in place with a little bit of super glue. Then slide the hopper assembly into the die cast frame. A little bit of glue can be used to hold the hopper assembly in the die cast frame. Locate the kingpin plate and three screws and fix in place. Replace the landing gear with one screw.
To continue assembly, replace the die cast mounting frame for the triaxles. Locate the two screws and screw them in. The rear mounting plate and mud flaps can also be added. If it is loose at all, add a little bit of glue to the pins and fix in place. Before mounting the triaxle assembly, locate the mud flap fix in place and the triaxle assembly goes over the mud flaps. Replace the three screws for the entire assembly. Before replacing the tarp, use a 1 16th inch bit to remove any die cast from broken pins from tarp hooks. Use a little bit of glue on both tarp hook holes, then attach the tarp, exposing the lower hole only. A needle nose plier works very well to replace the tarp hooks. Begin by placing the lower tarp hook pin in the lower hole and then press into the second hole. Once this is complete, the trailer should be reassembled. To reassemble DCP belt trailer components into a different belt trailer frame, first locate any missing tarp bows and fix in place with a little bit of glue. Once that is complete, replace the plastic sidewalls and belt inside the diecast frame. Use a little bit of glue between the diecast and plastic to ensure that it does not rattle or move. Locate the diecast belt frame and replace into the trailer body. Four screws hold this in place, two at the rear and two at the front. The landing gear can be added at any time with one screw. Locate the mud flaps that go between the rear two axles and glue in place. The triaxles will go over top of the mud flaps. Find the two screws that fix the triaxle to the diecast frame and glue in place. Locate the hinged door that goes at the rear of the trailer. Use a little bit of glue over the pins or holes and fix in place. The lower chute and mud flaps will also need a little bit of glue at the pins, then it can be snapped in place as well. To reassemble the tarp, first use a 1 16th inch drill bit to remove any die cast from broken tarp hooks that may be in the trailer. Once that is complete, use a little bit of super glue over both tarp hook holes then replace the tarp over the holes, exposing the lower hole. A needle nose plier works very well to replace the tarp hooks. Begin by placing a pin in the lower hole, then pressing into the second hole over the tarp rod. Once that is complete, your trailer should be reassembled.